sure, they got beat down too, but they got, but I mean, it's not like they got something taken from them. We have something taken from us and we can easily reclaim it like that. That's, that's the messed up thing. We can easily take it back. The only, uh, they are only trying to join in the power rape of Mother Earth and her natural resources, and it's sad to say, I gotta say it, but most movements, including some black movements, are built upon the foundation for control and power. See, sometimes we fight for the right to act white. And instead of the reclamation of who we are as an ancestral people, that's because, uh, you know, a lot of times you have people that change it into class, so you have a lot of, uh, a, a lot of people, you know, you know those cats like uh, uh, Francis Fanon. Mm -hmm. And he wrote some cool books, but he, and people were like, what, he was married to a white woman? Mm -hmm. And it's just like, well, it wasn't really about race, it was about class, you know, after a while. He turned it to class, and there's a lot of cats who were like that. There's a great article in Frontline that exposes a lot of cats who were like that, because it's about class and not ancestral uh, reclamation. True reparations, true reparations would only come if white people gave the earth back to the original people. That's it. And if you want to start with reclamations, because it's not going to come through a dollar bill, because what are we going to do with the dollar bill? Yeah. Give it right back. So they would make a killing off of giving black people reparations in the form of dollar bills. But if you want to do anything with the dollar bill, this is what you can do with reparations. Get our ancestral monument the fuck off of the back of the dollar bill, you bastards. Because that is the most disrespectful shit on the planet. Mm. They got the pyramid that's not even complete and the all-seeing eye. And then you got idiots who are like, whoa, whoa it's satanic. <laughs> and you just want to stab somebody. Sometimes, sometimes, don't you wish you had, remember Darth Vader? When that guy was getting on his case in, 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 in Star Wars and he just choked him like, shut the fuck up. Oh, I wish I had, the, if I had those powers, I'd be in jail right now. Because I'd be killed a lot of people. That or Wolverine's claws, because there's a lot of people, you know, you can't find the murder weapon. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but, that's, but that's what it truly is. If we were given back to Earth and given the, uh, the ability to, 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 to reclaim our knowledge, we could heal this planet in five seconds. In fact, I always said, uh, and I was talking to Dr. Epps, who wrote Blacked Out Through Whitewash, and I said, you know what, if they're not going to give equal funding to... Uh, to what we call black schools or that have predominantly black uh, populations because it's always a white school because you're always going to be taught their curriculum because no matter where you grew up, you went to a white school. But um, I said, take the money you do have and go get blacked out through whitewash. Go get Phil Valentine's tapes. Go get Bobby Hammett's tapes. Go get the books that you need to study. She said that actually did happen. You know what happened? They came in with guns. They came in with guns and shut the whole school down because they took, they took the money they were getting and they were going to black bookstores and buying books like this. And they shut the whole school down. Two schools, actually, she was telling me, out in California. I was like, wow. So, but, I mean, that's what was happening when you have stuff like uh, 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 the, uh, the, the Tulsa bombing. You know, black people prosper. I mean, it's like we damned if we do and damned if we don't. You know, but when we start prospering, I mean, the government, we're issuing guns to citizens to go in and destroy towns. That's the sickest thing. And then there's something called the, uh, I think it's the uh, St. Saint, Saint Louis incident. It's so messed up, the government will not talk about it, what they did to the black people. Mm. And I'm still trying to find information on it. The picture of the guy throwing a brick at a land, black man laying on the ground. It's the only thing I found from me. Oh, really? So you do know of it? World War I or something like that. Mm. Big riot. It's crazy. As a matter of fact, I was after Jack Johnson beat that white dude. <laughs> <laughs> Molly talked about it on the table. Oh, okay. Because I also, uh, me and a, my study partner, we kind of found out that you had people like Drusilla Dungy Houston. Mm -hmm. And she's coming out in 1927 talking about there was black kingdoms here in, the, in America. She was killing. She had something that was like the ghetto times, her and her husband. Yeah. And they tried to shut her down, but we noticed there was, there, there was some sort of connection between her and uh, some other cats uh, all throughout the 30s. Uh, yeah. Even Honorable, I uh, 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 almost said Elijah Muhammad, but I meant uh, Noble Drew Ali, excuse me, and uh, definitely Marcus Garvey. And it seemed like there was a connection 
that we don't even know about and is being kept from us to show how we did have unity. And the problem with a lot of people when it comes to segregation, you should at least stop thinking like cats. But a lot of older cats, they associate segregation with the violence that went on and just say segregation was bad. You know, and, and they, they never sit there and think that, no, nah, getting the shit knocked out of you was the bad part, but you were doing for self. You know, like the history of, uh, the secret history, or the hidden history of New York? Mm -hmm. Is that that book? I mean, <laughs> man, it's ridiculous. It's completely and utterly ridiculous, ridiculous, and we have to have to, uh, the movement, our movement, our black power movements need to be about reclamation and stop being scared that the Bible says you're gonna go to hell when when you decode the thing, it's, it's, it's just our hidden stuff of what we had, you know, but we had to start using parables and stuff to explain things because they was killing niggas for knowing that. And they're killing us now, too. But uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, repara reparations uh, won't come from an illusionary dollar. And uh, in the movement of reclamation, myotriarch and patriarchal societies come into harmony and perfect union. Without, and without this true understanding, we lead ourselves down the path of a 30, uh, 33 and a third degrees of trick knowledge instead of the 360 degrees of true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It's called know thyself, not rule shit with destructive force. Now, in the book, Yaku and the Origins of White Supremacy by Dorothy Blake Fardon, excuse me, She's a white woman who, uh, who breaks down Yaku <clears throat> and how white folks is crazy. She explains in the chapter about white women how the feminist movement was started by white women backed by their Masonic rich white husbands. Anybody read that book? Wow. It's a crazy book because she was white and I, I guess she was going with his brother who was in the, in the nation. Mm -hmm. and, but I mean, she took in the knowledge and she, hey, she, she's working with it. Mm -hmm. And when she got to the chapter on white women, I thought she was going to be like, we were abused too. We were hurt. But she was like, look, there's only three white women I trust. That's me, myself, and I. And I look at them bitches shifty-eyed. So I was like, all right, cool. And she really breaks it down about feminism and how it was started. And my own research has concluded that they were inducted into the Order of the Eastern Stars and uh, the white version. And their understanding of the story of Alset is extremely twisted. Because I had this one, uh, one sister uh, explain it to me. Alset remembered Alsar. Even though his phallus was swallowed by a fish, that black woman built one out of the natural elements of the earth, fire, water, and air. But white feminists interpret this as building the penis for the woman. And that's crazy. That's why, you know, I mean, Phil talks about, they say, uh, their secret motto is to own and control the dick. Well, that's, that's where it comes from. And they were allowed... Uh, they were allowed to, to conduct their meetings because their, their, their Masonic husbands, you know, gave it the okay. You know, because a lot of places, no, we don't want no women here. And then, uh, you know, but their husbands were like, no, nah, what they're trying to do is crazy. You've got to let them in. Uh, that's why, like I said, their motto is to own or control the dick. But I'll set that beautiful woman of antiquity that all black women must become again.